It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. Well, the election, guys, is three days away, and after all this time, Trump, I think, has finally found a winning message. You know, our doctors get more money if somebody dies from COVID. You know that, right? Yeah. That's our president, recently saved by doctors, saying doctors want more COVID for money. Which makes me think Trump only survived COVID so he wouldn't have to pay his doctors. <laughs> Unfortunately, Trump's gaslighting isn't quite enough to keep you warm because multiple Trump supporters who were stranded at a freezing cold rally in Nebraska were hospitalized with hypothermia. I assume because Trump told them the jackets don't work. <laughs> But don't worry, the president isn't trying to kill his supporters. He's actually succeeding at killing his supporters. <laughs> According to a study, over 30,000 COVID cases and 700 deaths have been tied directly to Trump rallies. That means he's officially killed more people across the Midwest than Jeffrey Dahmer and John Wayne Gacy combined. <laughs> which is also kind of what Trump looks like. In the end, I guess that Trump was right, that he is not a typical politician, since politicians don't typically spend the last week of the election murdering their own voters. <laughs> Lil, Wayne, Lil Wayne met with President Trump this week to discuss Trump's FUBU platinum plan for the black community. I don't know what it's actually called. Many are surprised by Lil Wayne's endorsements of Trump, but keep in mind Lil Wayne puts cough syrup in his Sprite, so <laughs> grain of salt. Look, it's weird that I have to tell politicians this, but rappers are not black leaders. They're just rappers. Stop <laughs> negotiating with them. They only do this with black people. I never saw a candidate talking to Gilbert Gottfried about what to do in Israel. <laughs> That'd be insulting, right? Plus, rappers are just way too busy to be leaders anyway. I love Ice Cube, but you know how many jobs he has on top of negotiating for black people? You know why Malcolm and Martin were such great leaders? Because they weren't also working on Barbershop 4. <laughs> Experts say that Joe Biden could win in Georgia if he can assemble a coalition of black voters, white women, and rural voters. So, basically, the voice. <laughs> Jared, Jared Kushner, who always looks like a child dressed up for a funeral. <laughs> Jared said Monday that black Americans have to want to help themselves if they want to be successful. Yeah, I don't know if I trust a guy who thinks the black experience is the highest tier at American Express. <laughs> and, you know, I, I don't know what's going to happen with this election. The tension is just killing me. I, I don't know what this world's going to be after Tuesday. I, I may never see you again, Colin. I mean, we might both get drafted in the race war. <laughs> It's not fair. You just married Scarlett Johansson, and I just bought an electric bike. We're both doing equally great. I feel like the band on the Titanic. Everything's just going bad, and I'm up here trying to do jokes like, hey, did you hear the one about the constipated accountant? Wait, what, what, what about the constipated accountant? Oh, he couldn't budget, so he had to work it out with a pencil. That's it. It's a kid's joke. You never heard that? All right, whatever, man. <laughs> now, again, guys, the election is only three days, and I'm a little worried, uh, mainly because of that Che joke. But all I think and believe is that we cannot do another four years of Trump. It is too much. Every day, I wake up after two hours of sleep, and I Google, America still democracy? <laughs> Even if you like Trump, at this point, you have to be exhausted. Remember that friend you had who at 4 a.m. would be like, yeah, where are we going next? And you're like, this is fun, but if I keep hanging out with this dude, I'm going to die. <laughs> right now, it feels like Trump wants us all to do another bump of whatever he got from his Muppet doctor and just sort of see where the night takes us. I don't know about you guys, but I think this time I'm calling a designated driver. And I just... I just really hope he also brings this guy with him. Oh! <laughs> 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 oh, 
Okay. <laughs>